Hello friends and welcome back to RuneScape, another episode of a day in the life of a max player and I couldn't help myself guys, I know in the last episode I said I gave up on the act track but look at me now, 45 and we've got a bunch of Slayer to do, so that's what we're going to be doing today, it's going to be a lot of Slayer grind, hopefully we can get a good chunk of XP, all we need is 25 more million experience till we get that 120 Slayer. And that's one more step closer to that completionist cape. And real quick, before we start, I think I've got a short clip of the drops we got from one hour of Twin Furies. Uh, it was Get On Your Knees and I. We got four drops, the Blade of Avarice, we got two Essence, and then we got uh, Crest as well. 18.3 mil split. And not only that, I got myself the pet to go along with it. So that both pets for this boss done, all I need is the blade of Nymora now, and that will be the log complete. And in the last episode, we got ourselves the gemstone dragon task from Ikea Girl. And in today's episode, we're finally going to finish it, and we're going to do a lot more than that. Don't you worry. It helps that we finish those Karamja achievements. So now we got the gloves four, and we can teleport straight there. I believe you don't even need the uh, elite achievements done to get here but regardless we've got them done now we're going to take down some gemstones these dragon stones aren't quite enough and these hydrixes are a lot more like it over an hour that took me to complete but it was well worth it we got 700k in loot no telling how much we got from the spring cleaner as well but the real ticket is we got 679,000 experience in the slayer skill that's a big chunk right there and that nearly probably finishes up our yak track yeah we probably got one more task to do but we're gonna crank out a lot more slayer now let's see what we can get next from miss ikea girl uh crest automatons that's not too bad let's go ahead. oh actually shadow creatures that's really good because i can farm elite clues and do slayer at the same time so let's do that Okay, that's task done. We did get that yak track done, but I'm gonna sit here and finish off this aggro potion. Unfortunately, we only got one elite clue, but you know, that's one more than we didn't have. And to top that off, we got a bunch of herbs here, and we got 134,000 Slayer experience. And after we finish off this potion, we'll go and get another task and keep rolling. Okay, now we've got Lava Strike Worms or Soul Devourers. It may be worth it to do this so I don't have to go in the wilderness. And that's the Yak Step done as well. What do we got now? Fishing and Mining or Hunter? Looks like we're going to be using up the rest of our skips here. Just got Sleigh Bells Ring 5. That's 10,000 Corrupted and Devour Creatures Killed. And this task should give us another 102,000 Slayer Experience. And six keys. Say we got pretty lucky. We also got a shield left half piece. We also got some daily challenges to turn in. That's another 137,000 Slayer experience to add to the list. Now we have 95 Vile Bloom tasks. That's pretty good. You get a lot of good uh, GP with them. Uh, it's definitely better than 57 Steel Dragons. And we're going to take down the highest level. File Bloom there is, and that's the Liverworts. I think it requires 110 Slayer, and uh, you just gotta pray range. And they have one mechanic, and they spit some stuff at you, but I think as long as you use Freedom or Anticipate, it'll end up hitting themselves instead. Ooh, and that's some juicy XP. We did finally finish the Yak Track. Now we have 25% boost to experience. And we cut it kinda close there, but we got it done. Let's see how much GP we got. Now we didn't get any Blast Diffusion boots, but we did get 1.6 million in loot, and of course more with the Spring Cleaner, and it was a nice 415,000 experience in the Slayer skill, bumping us up closer to that 120, and I think we're going to go ahead and round off and get pushed for that 480, get that uh, bonus for the completing the 10th task, so let's see what we can go get next from Ikea Girl. Perfect, this is just what we're looking for, an air root task. We got one more chance and hopefully we can get that last piece we need to make the mask and get that uh, comp requirement out of the way. 
And unfortunately, I did note my food on accident, but we did get the Tusca mask headpiece finally. It's the only one we were missing. And now we can make the uh, Tusca mask. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but I, it is a comp requirement. And so once we finish this task, we will go ahead and go do that. Finishing off the task, we got over 1.4 million in loot and we got 183,000 in Slayer experience and we've got the Tusca mask headpiece. So let's go ahead and put that thing together and get that comp requirement out of the way. Okay, I got each piece of the mask here and hopefully I don't have to do some sort of mini quest to do this. Let's see. Nope, there we go. Bipedal mask complete. Now let's see what the Tusca mask is all about. Oh, you can just give it to him for some Slayer points. Let's go see Ikea Girl. Another mask to add to her collection. And that gives you 20 Slayer points. Okay, I guess that's better than nothing. Now what sort of task can we get next? All right, let's do a challenge assignment this time and then on our 10th one, we can do a regular assignment, hopefully. Okay, she can only give one special assignment and it's to gather poison from each of the file blooms. So we just have to kill each of them once, I believe. Luminous Snaggler, Devil Snare, Liverworts, and then the Lamp and Floor. So we're gonna go do that, and then uh, hopefully we can get on to that last task. And that's the Snaggler done. Uh, gather a small, okay, I guess we uh, just put it in our pocket. We don't actually hold it in our inventory, but we do have, okay, yeah, it did take off one, so we'll just go take on the other ones now. And that's the Liverwort done again. One more strange looking liquid. Oh my gosh, this lamp and floor just melted. Now why is the lowest level Slayer creature on Anachronia the most scariest looking one? I mean, look at their attack animation. Oh my God. Alrighty, that is our last. Oh my gosh, we got 50,000 more ex Slayer experience. I guess that's pretty good. It didn't take us but like maybe five, 10 minutes to do that. So let's go get our, I don't even, did that even count? Oh, that didn't even count. Okay. And special assignments don't count towards your task streak. So it looks like we got two more tasks to do at least. And we got what, Crest Automatons or Gargoyles? And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling. And with a misclick, we're going with the Cresses. Before we go take down the Crests, we got some more challenges to turn in. Another Slayer one. 137k nice and an extra ticket for my lucky dip now i don't know about you guys but i have not been very lucky with this lucky dip i've just been pretty much putting in every ticket that i have every single day and uh it's quite a lot today so far i guess uh, it pays to do slayer but all these go into dungeoneering that's 86k nice just a little bit of GP here, 500k and 76k thousand Slayer experience. Sometimes you don't get the good ones, but you know, that one took not too long ago. Probably just five more minutes longer than it took us to do that special assignment earlier. So let's go get our final task of the day. And uh, hopefully we can get something nice. Round us off with a good chunk of XP. Okay, 158 corrupted creatures. I can get down with that. We can go uh, AFK some uh, workers in the uh, Softenim dungeon. Won't be too bad. We'd be quick and good XP, and we might be able to get some more keys to the crossing as well. That is the Slayer task done. Unfortunately, we weren't as lucky as last time. We only got two keys to the crossing, but we did get nearly 135,000 Slayer experience. So let's take a look at the chest now. I believe this thing was at like 36 mil, if I'm not wrong, before. In the last time I showed it and uh, yeah we're still not gonna touch this thing we still got another 22.8 million experience left to go before we can get there get that 120 cape and we'll loot all of our chests ooh and that was a nice 110 extra points to go because we got the 10th task in a row we're nearly 500 slayer tasks done now and look how many slayer points we got 563 that's so nice don't even know uh, what I should buy. Probably a lot more of those uh, soul capturing things, those Usha bodies or something. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, these things, the Usha bodies. I think I said it right the first time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, we don't have enough inventory space. Hopefully these things stack. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Alright. There's 20 Usha bodies. I think that's pretty good. We can uh, start working on our Slayer collection. It's kind of like collecting all the Pokemon. You gotta collect all the Slayer creatures. You gotta catch them in these little things. And you put them in a little uh, chest over at Minifos. And uh, this is how you unlock the personal owned Slayer dungeon. Uh, but don't be like me. Only put one of each soul into this chest. Otherwise you're just wasting them. You need the uh, souls in the Usha bodies to actually place down in the uh, designated spots inside the player owned dungeon. So again, only one soul of each kind in this chest. Don't be like me and put eight souls in this chest of shadow creatures thinking you can use them in your Slayer own dungeon later. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I'm going to end it off here, I'm trying to keep these things about 10 minutes long. And uh, we uh, went over that today. And if you liked the video, be sure to give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and stick around for more RuneScape related content. Today's episode was quite fruitful. We got over 2 million XP in Slayer through this episode and I also got some Dragonkin lamps uh, but I didn't count them into my calculation but we do have 22.8 million left to go before we get that 120 and we did make some progress on the completionist cape today we did make that bipedal mask by uh, getting all the pieces dropped by the air roots and we learned that they're used to uh, give a little bit extra slayer points so that's kind of nice and if you have any suggestions of what you would like me to do in uh, coming episodes to come please comment down below and uh until next time guys this has been anari